Hey guys, today I want to present a lemma about beeper tight graphs and after that I want to present a solution to a Baltic whale problem using this lemma. So at first let's have a look on the lemma. We have given a graph G with the vertex set V and the edge set E and we have given that this graph is undirected. Now at first let's define what beeper tight means. We call a graph G beeper tight if we find two subsets A and B of the vertex set such that they have no elements in common and such that their union is equal to V. And now we must also have that for every edge in E, one endpoint is in the set A and one endpoint is in the set B. I've drawn in an example right here. Here you can see that these five vertices here are in set A and the other four are in set B and every edge only goes from the set A into the set B. The lemma now tells us that G is beeper tight if and only if there exists no odd cycles in G. At first, let's prove the direction that if G is beeper tight, then there is no odd cycle. So let V1, V2 up to Vn be a cycle in G. And without loss of generality, we want we want to be in A. Since there are no vertices between edges in A, we can conclude that V2 is in B and now we get that V3 is again in A and so on. And we end up with the conclusion that Vi is in A is equivalent to I odd. But now since v1, v2 up to vn is a cycle, we know that there is an edge between v1 and vn and this means that since v1 is in a, we know that vn must be in b. And now since we figured out that vi in a is equivalent to i odd, this means that n must be even. This means that every cycle in our graph g must be even and therefore we have no odd cycles. And we are done with this case. Let's go on with the other direction now. So we want to prove that if there are no odd cycles, then G must be beeper tight. At first, I want to note that without loss of generality, we can assume that G is connected, because otherwise we can make our proof for each component. Let's consider some vertex X from our set A. We see that all the neighbors of X must lie in the set B. And now we see that all the neighbors of these three vertices here are either X or are some other vertices which have distance to from our vertex X. Moreover, we see that all these vertices here are in the set A again. Now we can go on with this and say that all the vertices with distance 3 to x must lie in the set B and so on. Therefore, our strategy is to take some x from the vertex set and now for some v from the vertex set, we want that v is in A if and only if the distance from x to v, which is the minimal length of a path going from x to v is even. And on the other hand, V should be in B if and only if the distance from X to V is odd. We want to prove that this construction here really works and therefore, for the sake of contradiction, assume that we can find vertices V0 and W0 such that the distance of x to v0 plus the distance of x to w0 is even and v0, w0 is an edge in g. The fact that the sum of these two distances here is even means that they have the same parity and they are, therefore they are both in A or they are both in B. From this assumption here, 
we find a shortest v0 x path. Let's call it v0, v1, up to vn x. And now we also find a shortest x w zero path. Let's call it x w m w m minus one up to w zero. Now we also have this edge here w zero v zero and in total we can bring these two paths here and the edge together and then we have in total a closed walk. Since the sum of these distances here is even, we know that this closed walk has odd length and so we can write that there exists some odd closed walk in G. This especially means that there exists some minimal odd closed walk. Let's call the vertices in this closed walk u1, u2 up to uk. Now it's left to prove that this closed walk is indeed a cycle. So assume that we can find indices i not equal to j such that ui is equal to uj. This means that we have two smaller closed walks, namely ui, ui plus 1, up to uj, and uj, uj plus 1, up to uk, then u1, and now up to ui. But now, since this closed walk here was odd, we know that one of these closed walks is also odd, but we directly see that both of these closed walks are shorter than this one and this is a contradiction to the minimality of this closed walk here. This implies now that our closed walk here was indeed a cycle, but this is a contradiction to our assumption that there exists no odd cycles and therefore we are done with our proof for this lemma.